Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. And we're back for the last one of this week. This is going to be good. Hopefully. Detective Comics number 1034. We all know who publishes Detective Comics. That'd be DC right there. And it'd be by Tamaki, the writer. Uh... Let's see if I can find the first name. Uh, anyway, Tamaki is the, is the writer. She's doing a good job. I think it's a she. Uh, and uh, Madra and Belair. Jordi Belair. I think she's the colorist. So, starts out, Gotham City, we have a function being put on by the new mayor to raise money. And he's talking about his future, his vision for the future of Gotham, which includes no vigilantes. Because he's on his no vig vigilantes you know, thing, and, you know, which was reinforced by his losing an eye during the an attack during the Joker War. Of course, we have Bruce Wayne at the function who happens to mention, this is okay, my family used to be able to, you know, always had a seat here back in the day. Now I can't afford it, but, you know, my family's, you know, due to my family name, I still have a seat here. And you have people discussing whether this new mayor is going to be reelected or just a one term guy. Bruce Wayne says, yeah, one term. And of course, boom! Bad guy showing up, crashing the party. And you get the mayor trying to run out of there for protection. He's asking, where's the SWAT? Where's the SWAT? Where's the police? They're showing up. And Bruce runs out and boom, Batman shows up, saves the mayor, even though uh, <laughs> Batman's a vigilante. And the he just doesn't you know, he doesn't want to have vigilantes around, but that line's going to help. So, now we have Bruce working at one of his little micro caves around the city, because he doesn't have Wayne Manor anymore. So, he's got these little places around the city. He actually has to start working in these little abandoned tunnels to make a new cave. And he's you also get introduced to some of the new neighbors at his new townhouse. Who These neighbors are the very, very wealthy people around town who aren't touched by the crime. You know, because crime usually happens in, according to this, the lower socioeconomic areas of Gotham. And he's lamenting the fact that he has to do this stuff, but he's got to put up appearances. So it's switching back and forth between the mayor and his people and Bruce and his neighbors. And then his neighbor's wife gets kidnapped. And you're, fun, you're like, wait a minute, why are the bad guys going after these people when they've never had them, never dealt with them before? And it leaves off. <coughs> 
which is I like what they're going with this because they're changing stuff around a little bit. It's not going to be the complete, you know, same bad guys all the time. Of, you know, the Scarecrow, the Joker, you know, all that. This is the remnants of the people from the Joker War. So it's gang members. You don't know who they are. Uh, you've got all these other people. And a mystery which is going to lead into the whole detective part. Which of Batman, which has been sorely lacking lately, and uh, I like what they're doing with that, making him uh, not as rich as before. He's got certain other things he need he needs to do now. He has to worry about you know making sure he doesn't damage his car because he doesn't have twenty cars in the Batcave. He's got one. Yeah. He doesn't have any room to put it on his other stuff. He's limited in funds, so he has to be a little bit more... I don't want to say conservative, but he has to be more careful in how he does things. And new bad guys. So, this has been a really good series. Uh, I want to keep reading this. Tamaki is doing a really good job. I'm going to give this a 4.25 out of 5. I suggest that you pick it up if you haven't already. If you haven't been reading Batman and he liked it before, he just didn't like what was going on, pick it up now. So, anyway, Batman rocks. Uh, like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comics.